here it comes. Oh, great. That's that's good luck off the bat. Great. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh, no. Well, this isn't fair. I can't even log into it. Oh, my God. Accept, accept, accept. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh, nostalgia. All right, we just got five thieving. Now we need some teas. Oh no, we gotta turn our check thing off. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, here's the final stage of this. Okay. Oh good, there's no one. Oh, there's one guy. Never mind. Oh shit. People have keys already? That's not good. Fire staffs were going left and right, so I decided to just get an air staff. It'll be more useful in the long run, hopefully. Alright, so we're, our plan is to start out at Green Dragons. We bought some fire strikes. Hopefully we can get some nice prayer experience. Um, kind of hype right now. All right, we just unlocked fire strike. So let's see some bigger gains now. Starting to think we should have maybe tested this out before coming here because we cannot hit this thing at all pretty much. Oh, Jesus. Alright, after 30 magic levels pretty much, we were not even able to half HP a green dragon. So we're gonna go searching for something else to get some levels on. Alright, so we decided to move on over to the hill giants right next to the dragons. And we're getting some nice gains in prayer and HP now as well as magic. We're already at 35 magic and it's only been like 20 to 30 minutes in. So that's pretty good. But the system update is going to knock us off and I don't know what we're going to do after that. So the system update hit zero, but I'm still logged in. Not sure what's going on there. Oh, okay, so I was just talking to this guy AC first place. He asked me who I was and oh no, what? I just saw like 50 AC members walk by me and I ran. And I guess that's it for AC. Just saw a level 22 with a myth skim already, so that was pretty scary. But we did find an iron skim on the ground, so good luck for me so far. Alright, so we just got our first Slayer assignment. And we got wolves, so I guess we're just gonna go to White Wolf Mountain and hope we don't die. And we found the big wolf. Hopefully this will get us like 10 Slayer levels in one kill. Here we go. Let's see how many Slayer levels we can get from seven in just this one kill. Four levels for that one kill. That's not bad at all. I'm gonna keep going. All right, we are officially out of fire runes and we have 19 Slayer, so not a bad start. We're gonna move over to Ardone and get some cakes and maybe do the waterfall quest. All right guys, so here's the thing. Dead Man Mode Seasonal is a ton of fun. Like it's a lot of fun to see, first of all, the 10 times experience marker. So you're leveling your skills so fast and it's really easy to do quests and really easy to get everything done in a really quick succession. But there are downsides to that. And I've run into this downside already on the first day is that I'm moving too fast for me to enjoy it and I really like the grind which is not good for someone on a dead man server like I have all these stats at level one and I want to train them and I know that's not the point and then I try to force myself to do other stuff but I don't have money and I'm not used to not having the money I need to be able to purchase like small things like the amount of times I've had to run between Lumbridge, Varrock, and Ardone today 
is just way too much for me to be enjoying this game. And I'm still playing it right now, I'm still trying to grind it out, and but I'm I don't have money and I don't really have a clan that's playing this with me like a lot of people do, and I don't want to join a clan just to be in the running for money, because that's not the reason that people should join clans. It should be for the overall experience. But I'm going to keep trying for a little bit, hopefully. I don't know if I'm going to keep playing through to the very end in the final hour. That would be really great if I did, but even after that, the chances of me winning are very, very, very small because I don't have a clan to rely on. I don't have people feeding me money or feeding me like potions or supplies. And it's all on me. And I mean, some people can do it. Some people are streaming this right now. There's Iron Wooks. I don't know if he's using his Iron Man or anything, but Wooks has completely shown everyone up. He's destroying it, and there are, of course, other people who are already, like, in the Warriors Guild, Monkey Madness done, and it's just a complete grind that they're very used to, and I'm used to a grind, but not to this extent, I don't think. Um, this has been really great, though. I've gotten to, I've never, I like being on the front lines of stuff, because it's not often that I get to be on the front line. And I've gotten to see some YouTubers and streamers that I watched their content and I've never actually seen them play the game. Like, I've run into Black Griffin and Torvesta and um, I saw Bodhi very briefly. And then I've also seen a friend very briefly and Foe or Fox, I don't know how you say his name. And then I've also seen people like Pure Spam and Iron Higer and R. Robert and You Never Learn. And it's really great to be on this front line where you can see all the big producers doing all the different stuff that you see in their videos. But obviously I'm not on that level where it's going to be the same results. I think another thing that's affected like my mood recently with this game mode is that I now have a series that I'm putting out every week and honestly if I wasn't doing this tournament it could come out faster because I'm really moving forward toward that final goal that I have for that series and then we can move on past that but I think because I really want to work on that series because it's something that I'm really passionate about I'm doing this because I really think it's a good idea and it's going to be a lot of fun in the end, but I'm really, really passionate about that series right now. So playing this because it's on the same account is taking away from my gameplay on that account. And the, saying that, I'm definitely going to be trying to play the next season of Dead Man. I'm going to do it on a different account though that I have made and that'll allow me to do both that account and this account on the main game while I'm training the one on dead man mode so my passion is there but it's being covered by something else and it's really distracting me like right now I am training in the gnome stronghold on terror birds with a Myth Scimitar at 58 Combat. And 58 Combat at this point in the game isn't bad. Like, there are a lot of people that are lower, there are a lot of people that are higher. Right now I'm seeing a lot of Dragon Daggers, and I can use one. I've done Lost City as... I don't know if the clip has gotten to Lost City yet, but... I've done it, I just can't afford a Dragon Dagger. And I tried to get the money for it, and I was like, why am I doing this? I could be doing something else that's more productive than trying to make money for a Dragon Dagger. I could go do some quests, or I could unlock like different training spots that would allow for me to make money faster. So it's really a win-lose situation where I'm not win-lose, I'm not sure that's the right one, but I just don't know if I will be 
producing enough content in this to make it to the last day. I will probably log on for the final hour just to be in it and see how it goes. So I'm definitely more excited for the changes being made to next season. And I think that that will be a really great game and definitely I will try to put out some content on that one. But right now I'm not feeling very passionate about this finale. So yeah.